Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one we're going to be showing you how to record the payment of an asset with a loan. So if you have gone out and bought a new motor vehicle for your business uh, or maybe some kind of equipment, some kind of fixed asset and you are financing that with a loan, uh, we're going to be showing you how to record uh, the deposit on the asset and then bring on the loan portion onto the books as a liability on your balance sheet. So this is a follow-up to a video I made previously on how to record the purchase of a fixed asset. In that other video, we covered how to enter the purchase bill and record the GST correctly, how to create the new fixed asset account on the general ledger, and also how to enter the new asset into the fixed asset register so that you can then run depreciation of that asset inside zero. So I'm gonna put a card up above if you're interested in that, but in this video, we're gonna skip past all that and we're just going to go to recording the payment on the vehicle, so there's gonna be a deposit, and then the rest is gonna be financed with a loan. Okay, so here we have here the bill for the purchase of the vehicle. It's a $33,000 vehicle we can see here. And let's just say that we made a deposit on the vehicle for $4,500. And that came out of the main bank account. So there's a couple ways you can do this. One way you can do it is to scroll down the bottom here where it says make a payment, type in the amount, enter the date paid. We'll just make up a date here and select the account it was paid from, the business bank account, and then go add payment. And as you can see here, there is now a payment made of 4,500 and the balance owing is 298570. And then you'd have to go into your bank rec and that should match up as long as the bank account was correct, the date was correct and the amount was correct. It should match up automatically. Another way of doing it is just to record it directly through the bank rec. So we're gonna do that now. So what I'm gonna do is open this up and I'm gonna delete that payment. Remove and redo. And there we go. That payment's gone, so the amount owing is gone back up to the full amount. So let's go have a look at the bank rec. And let's say here that this 4,500 on the 12th of December was the deposit on this motor vehicle here. So what we do then, we go over here, we go find and match. and we have to find our bill here. So we might do a search for car company. There it is. We're gonna click on that. And because the amount that was paid was 4,500, but the bill is for 33,000, we're gonna to have to split it into a part payment. And what it's doing here, it's applying 4,500 as a part payment and the remaining amount is 29,185. So we'll go split. Okay, and then that's reconciled. If we go back to the bill here, if we refresh, it'll show that $4,500 coming off as a deposit. There it is, 29 owing. Okay, so we put our deposit down and the rest was financed by a bank or some other finance company. So now we gotta record the remaining amount as a loan on our books. So to do that, we're going to go to the general ledger accounting, chart of accounts, and we're going to create a liability account. Let's just have a look at the number sequencing here and the way the accounts are set out. So this is a loan that won't be settled within 12 months, so it's gonna be a non-current liability, not a current liability. Doesn't look like we have any non-current liabilities, so we're gonna set this as a We'll do it as an 800 account, like these ones here, but we'll make it 890. So we'll go add account. Scroll down to the liability section and non-current liability. The code is going to be 890 and we're going to call it loan and whatever the name of the lender is. We'll just call them finance company. And we'll click save. 
Now this is good, we've created the loan account, but the problem here is when we go to pay from the account, it only lets us pay from the bank account here. Well, we've got, we got a liability clearing account, that's not it. Some other accounts, that's not it. We need to make it sharp on this list here. So the way to do that is when you're creating the account, or you can go back and click into the settings later like we're about to do now, you have to click this box here, enable payments to this account. So we'll click that, we'll save, we'll go back to our bill, we'll refresh, so it picks up those changes we just made, and we'll set the date as the same date as the bill. And now once we click here, we'll be able to see that loan account. We scroll down, there it is, loan finance company, add payment, all right. So that's paid. Let's go back and have a look at it. So now we can see there was a payment on the 12th of December for 4,500. That was the deposit that came out of the bank account. And then on the 18th of December, the loan from the finance company covered the rest. So the vehicle's paid for as far as the dealership goes. Now you just have to repay the loan to the finance company, that 2918570. And if we run a balance sheet now, what we're going to see is we're going to see a non-current asset, a liability for 29185. Let's have a look at that. And if we scroll down, there we go. Non-current liability, loan finance company 29185.70. That's it there, 29185.70. So now what will happen is you'll have your vehicle up here that we just purchased. That's the purchase amount minus the GST. When you run depreciation, you'll have an accumulated depreciation line underneath that. And down below, also relating to that motor vehicle, we've got the loan on it in the liability section here, 29185. So it shows we've got an asset worth 30,700 and a loan against it for 29,000. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. I hope that helped. Like I said at the top, if you're interested in the full process of setting up a fixed asset, go have a look at that other video. So now you know how to set it up in the system and you know how to record a deposit from the bank as well as setting up a loan on it. If you wanna book in a training session, head over to the link in our description. We can set up a tailored training session. Whatever you need to go through, we can help you with it. Other than that, I hope you learned something from the video and we'll catch you later.